Hey guys, so it's here bringing you another video. Welcome to NA placements. So this is day two of doing the placements. And we're going to try our best to finish the placements today. But uh, we've done five. I am feeling quite rough, weirdly. I was feeling okay earlier. And as I've streamed a bit more, we're about, I don't know, an hour or something into the stream, I'm feeling more ill. So I don't know what that's about. People in Twitch chat is like, yeah, that's quite common for the common cold to kind of sneak up on you. But um, yeah, uh, sad news is we've had a bit of weird trolling or toxicity going on. So it just seems to be more common now with the champion select anonymous thing that this player wanted jungle from this player. And then this player's picked Kindred AD carry and now we've got Ash support. And then this player was being really toxic in the chat. And then on Porofessor, which I can bring up momentarily... Um, why toxicity... I do believe, and obviously I'm not a fan of Duo Q to say the least, but I do think Duo Q adds to a lot to, to, uh, to toxicity. And yeah, so it's just two duos. So, and they just got absolutely... 1 and 9, 0, 7. So, yay. Uh, we're against this Yone guy. So he's not a smurf. Uh, we are in like borderline smurf Q. Oh, I just made a mistake. I didn't put down my turrets. So mistake that I made is didn't put down my turrets, which means I haven't had the refresh of like by now I should have some turrets down and then I should have already had a, a refresh of one to two turrets in my inventory. They forgot to do that. Just that low NA solo queue? Maybe. Okay, he is like very passive for a Yone. Uh, bubble only warning you're gonna get. Calm that down. We got Cho'Gath top. Cho'Gath apparently has been one of the other winners of the new patch of tanks like being really OP. Only Rosa. Obviously the Hecarim is duo with the Cho'Gath, so if the Cho'Gath struggles... His duo can come and save the day. I've not played Heimer in a little while, actually. Hey, we stopped him getting the cannon. Oh. Trying to find that perfect turret placement so we don't get into tower range. Yeah, so the duo is just going to camp the Aatrox by the look of it. That guy's going to have a fun game. I don't need to see the context. I don't want that type of chat in my stream. Oh. Don't know why we have a Kindred AD carry. Nice. I think this Yone weirdly should have actually gone more aggressive me earlier into the game. He gave me too much freedom, so now I have just like absolute control over him. I gotta be like still careful because it's a Yone after all. Oh, <laughs> Nearly killed him. Wait, Yone? 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 No. Hecarim might go get him. I literally thought he was about to die. As he can. I mean, I got an assist, so I'm actually not mad, but... Giving Graves a shutdown isn't the smartest thing in the world. Not bad, though. Fed Graves could be a problem. A Kindred AD carry has to be one of the dumbest picks, I swear. Your whole strength of Kindred is gaining marks. You're going to get basically none. Wait, why is he... What is going on? Why does Ezreal have a Doran's ring? Is he going AP Ezreal because they're full AD? Oh, you shouldn't do that. <laughs> I understand the re... Like the, I, you, I can understand the reasoning, but... Play the strongest way your champion can play. 
Hey, Feral Wolf, how's it going, man? Can Rod of Ages work on Hymer? I was actually thinking about that myself. I don't think it's needed on Hymer is the problem. Again, as I was saying yesterday, so many people... Oh, this Jogas seems really bad. Um, so many people build the new items on, like... Oh my god, just... I'm muting everybody. Um, so many people build the new items regardless if it's even a good idea in preseason. I understand new items are exciting and you want to try them out, but it also has to make logical sense. If it doesn't make sense, then there's not much point. So 90 MS doesn't feel too bad. You wouldn't know if you tried. Eh, you can kind of tell if an item would be bad or good for a champion. Hey, Alia Chima. Like, yeah. Just logic dictates a lot of the time if an item would be better or worse than a previous item. Ah. Wasting grenade is actually one of the biggest things in lane phase you don't want to do on Hymer. I'm not letting him hit a knock up on me yet. Maybe I should have altered them. I don't know if I would have had the damage, but he would have had to go back. Because I'm nearly guaranteeing I'm going to get Graves ganked soon. So if I forced him to go back, then Graves would have had... Like, they wouldn't have had any number advantage. Right, I need to be careful right now, because if I get ganked, I can't even ult tower. I do think the Cho'Gath might be a new player. Like, actual new player. Oh. Didn't realise I killed him already. I knew the Graves gang could be coming. Is Yone's forcing too hard? He needs to make sure he hits me with his Q before the ult. Otherwise, I can sidestep it really easily. So the Cho'Gath's getting mega... Oh my god, his build. Oh god. Oh god. Not sure this one's gonna be a win. Because we basically don't have a top laner. Is this a burst game? I actually think this is a burst game. The way that I have to carry this game, I think it's burst. Where we are, where are we in placements? We are three wins, two losses. Sork shoes here. No. Nope. Don't have the back seat as well. Thank you. Just a suggestion, not backseat. You don't need to, like, what? <laughs> that is backseating. Ah, they did drag him. Uh, we've had platinum players in these games already. So we're roughly in, like, platinum MMR. Yeah, Kendra didn't use her ult. But there's a logical reason why I don't even want Sork Boots, so... Yeah. I want to be stronger stationary as a Hymer than stronger, like, movement. I'm not a movement-based champion. Diagram. 
as you can. Oh my god, he's actually he's actually going AP Ezreal. God, they are like Hecarim is basically only ganking top lane, and they're getting absolutely destroyed. This is where you don't rush into playing solo queue if you're new. Probably what's happened. So yeah, don't know. Again, we're uploading all the placements, as I've said a few times. Um, so we'll still upload this game. We're still playing well. But... Yeah, oh my god, he didn't get any damage on him. Considering how this game is going, I just don't see how we're going to get a win out of this one. We'll try our best, though. But this is also a lesson I will just say, like, don't rush into ranked. So many players, they hit level 30 and they go, oh, damn, let's go, BB. Le hitting level 30 is not an indication you're ready for ranked. I know a lot of people that, like, other video games you might be or other video games, whatever. League is a bit different. League is you, it's so much learning in League of Legends that hitting level 30 is... Think of that as you've actually just then begun playing the game. And it's not even trying to be harsh or anything. It's just, yeah. I wouldn't want, like, don't, because what usually happens is peeps and people are new to league. And then they play ranked too bad. And then they kind of ruin their own MMR for a while. Ah, missed that aiming. Yeah, hitting level 30 is like completing the tutorial. Pretty true. Ooh. <sighs> oh. I don't want any of you here. Go away. What? What? Oh my god. Well, the Hecarim was really toxic in Champ Select. How is someone who's brand new to League already this toxic as well? Well, that's the weird thing to me. Wait, 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 wait a minute. This Cho'Gath is gold three at 500 games. He's got 80 games of Cho'Gath. There is no way. on earth gold three that's above average in rank that's technically above average in rank mm. they're very fed oh my god they're so fed i can't do i can't carry <laughs> They can just straight up tower dive me already. Okay. Um, I don't think I can carry this one. What's the average rank in league? About silver three, silver two. You think that... Uh, no. Someone's saying maybe the Hecarim is boosting him. No. I don't think so. The Hecarim went one and nine on rise in the game before and stuff like that. That's not someone that's boosting. Uh, young Shadow Link, four months with tier one. Says first time giving you a real sub, not just a prime. Hey, appreciate it, man. Thank you very much. How weird. Well, we'll keep on trying. 
again that's it's the kind of funny thing oh well one thing that is very clear i will say of these placement games don't i would partially say don't do your placement games like what we're doing here naturally you know this is a bad example of how to do well in placements i'm playing different champions every single game playing different roles and i'm not playing carry champions carry champions are probably quite important for your early stages of rank because i'm not an absolute like hyper carry like if i do well i which i have i'm not a graves you know i'm not like the absolute monstrosity of like carry potential you can do fine but there's a limit what you can do you know Obviously, it doesn't help if the Hecarim and the Jogath have no idea what they're doing, and that kind of seems the case. You see, like, even that's the thing that's annoying to me. Ione, you can crush, but because it's a modern champion, they can still do so much damage. That's the difference between a modern champion and an old champion. Mm, very interesting. An old champion can't do that. A modern champion can always do that. It's one of the biggest differences between them. Oh. I, I know it probably sounds bad, but like this guy was really toxic in champ select. It's embarrassing. Like I know this is going to sound really like counterintuitive, but it's embarrassing how toxic that guy was for how bad he is. Oh, he's very bad. Oh, dude, seven and one. Ew. Yeah, there ain't no win in this game. We tried. We did well in lane phase. <clears throat> Fortunately, that's not enough for a high me. Like, I think I could have maybe carried the game as long as, like, these two didn't get hyper-fed early, but they did. So, yeah. It's just a bit too much for me to do. Because, like, Graves and Aatrox as champions, they can just walk into me and not really care for any of my damage because like the Cho'Gath has really no idea and again he's gold three and he plays Cho'Gath to be honest that is actually kind of scary oh what <laughs> not getting a kill damn Say it. Gotta be careful of an Ezreal. AP Ezreal. What's our way of winning the game? Um. I don't know. <sighs> I love modern champions. So that's the sad thing. You can absolutely wreck a Yone in lane phase, but because they're Yone, they can do whatever they want. God damn it. Next game, I should probably just play a modern champion. <sighs> Which is depressing. Oh my god. I don't think we've seen an Ash arrow. Oh my god. My eyes. Oh, that guy's just straight up trolling. So wait, a duo queue is disagreed, by the way. I'm the only non-duo player on my team. And one of the duo players has said no.
Aha, sucker. Come here. Please. No. Why? No. No. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I was wondering why Soraka wasn't just running. We found out. We found out. Ezra was on his way. I killed the Yone, so I'm happy. You missed him! My head hurts more now. <laughs> this hasn't helped my cold. Have I tested Viger yet? No. Oh god. Yeah. Well, if you enjoyed the video, throw a like on it. We are showing the placement experience on North America. The quality is fairly low, but I think that's true for most placements, to be fair. But I will say, NA was always known as a non toxic server compared to the Western, like, um, uh, EU ones. It actually has been a fairly toxic experience so far. Maybe NA has got more toxic, which is a shame. Because it was always known as actually nice on comparison. So I know people who play on NA will be like, what? Our server's not nice. As I said, nice on comparison to EU. EU's horrible. Eep. Oh! Okay, he does no damage. My whole team's AFK, though. Attack! Look at his healing! And then, sir, okay. Come on, man! <laughs> Will they ever fix Aatrox healing? Probably not. Probably not. What the hell? <laughs> well, there you go. So that's placement game number six. So that brings our win loss to uh, three apiece. Three wins, three losses. Don't really know what I could have done that game. Um, that was us, a Hecarim and a Trogath having no idea what they're doing. Um, just players that have entered rank... Well, I, I was actually going to say players that have entered rank two early. But then again, that Cho'Gath has got 500 games of solo queue. There ain't no excuse for that. 500 games. That's like not too... Like my main account, where obviously we got Master this year. Um, what, I... had like 670 games. So like he's not that far from my level of amount of games in a season. So yeah, that's a little bit... Oof. Um, oh, he got System... <laughs> So we did say the uh, Hecarim was very toxic. So I had everyone muted. I don't use chat, as you all know. But the Hecarim also got system muted. So yeah, it kind of confirms he was a toxic individual who did a whopping 5,000 damage. So this was just not a very nice player to play with. He was kind of inting as well. The Cho'Gath was just absolutely clueless. But um, we do 22,000 damage. I come second, by the way, in the damage charts to the Aatrox that did 39,000. And my lane opponent, the Yone, did 10,000. So I do double, more than double my lane opponent. But ultimately, it didn't matter. So unfortunate, but it is what it is. Uh, if you guys still enjoyed and it's just a kind of funny vibe, do throw a like on it, throw a comment, throw a subscribe. I will just say as an update, uh, I have been in contact with Riot and they are right now pretty much today. Uh, they're working on moving over one of my league partner buffs to the account that I'm going to be doing the Nuzlocke challenge with. So that's good. So by basically I'm recording this on a Friday, I'm going to have the weekend off and then starting Monday is when the Nuzlocke will begin. So hopefully the LPP buff will be on the account by then and then we can begin the Nuzlocke. So that's pretty cool. Um, the account, by the way, I'm using for that is the King Pleb. It's the account we used for last rank season. So, yeah. Anyway, that's gonna be it. If you guys enjoy, throw a like on it, throw a comment, throw a subscribe. See you guys next time. Goodbye. Call down the reckoning to bring back hope and peace. Restore our glory to live forever. Bring down the dark.
was you.